All right, today we get to watch the cringe compilation that is Google. They're starting right now with fancy countdown graphics. <laughs> wow, so special. It's dramatic. Going in blind here. I don't want to spend a whole lunch break on this. Let's get this out of the way. <laughs> oh, it's live this time. All right, because they invited the public. Ah, here we go. Staged applause. Unlike last time, it's not digitally enhanced. So I got to give you props, Google. <laughs> you didn't have digitally enhanced with applause. Right. Just paid One applause. Mic check. One, two, three. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> yeah. it's on so relatable. On I'm doing a mic check. check. Ooh, paid applause! Yay! That guy in the middle doesn't look too well, enthusiastic, thank you for though. Joining us. Are making Google products more helpful in the moments that matter. They supported the timely evacuation of hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> Bad face! We are proud of how it's helping Ukrainians find a bit of hope and connection. Ah, I've got to check the Ukraine box. Check that Ukraine box. Got a virtue signal, guys. Oh, I love virtue signaling. Google is the number one company at virtue signaling. Where the model learns to translate a new language without ever seeing a direct translation. That doesn't seem like a good idea, actually. <laughs> hmm, I'm trying to learn a language. I think I'm just going to try and learn it by myself. It allows you to explore a place like never before. Complete let's with go to CGI take, birds. Let's go to London and take a look. What a beautiful city. <laughs> yeah, Say you're planning to, to visit London Westminster with, with your family. You can get into the Actually, that, that legitimately would be pretty phone. cool if you had like you VR goggles or something. Here's Westminster mm, I'd be getting that. And, if you're tense, and as you're great. exploring your virtual world, you have well, Google monitoring wide, every single place you look. There's some some new computer learning models that What's have developed that something that looks remarkably like that. Yeah, kind of more ambitious than it actually is in practice. Uh, their their auto translated captions they can't even ma manage to capitalize the letter I in in their their English cap uh, English captions. Did you captions. see what he just did with his tongue? Just as I, I I didn't AI, catch it. Google. Whenever I get a long document or email, I look for a TLDR at the top. TLDR is short for too long, didn't read. As, I haven't been on the internet before. This is what it means. He, he's explaining it for his fellow aliens. I'm seriously questioned. I'm going to question the accuracy of this. I don't know because a lot of people use a lot of filler words. And even if you just had something that pulled out the filler words, you could pretty easily condense stuff. So we've definitely covered look at what AI can do. Yes. You gotta check that box now that it's Once over with. Definitely a highlight in my future. <laughs> Facial recognition, my favorite. Apply right now your image quality on Google Meet, and it works on all types because of. Because your devices, video so you webcams suck. You why? Why worry? Wow, that looks really, really AI generated. Why make better cameras you can when you could just do more AI post processing? Most important product. There's the good Google stuff. Search. Don't check off that search box just yet, kids. I want to actually see something new before we check that box. Thanks, Sundar. People's quest for knowledge. I, I would have gotten points docked for that introduction in high school. See, I, I'm not checking the box just yet because, like, what they just promised is, like, there's no proof that, like, you can seriously provide this. The funny thing is, I still don't know what that part is called. <laughs> And thus is the modern human experience. Haha, <laughs> so funny. So relatable. I don't know what my faucet's called. Oh. Humans not knowing words anymore. Haha, <laughs> so relatable. But only food and local restaurants that pay Google to have their results highlighted. You know, if you want like a ramen shop specifically and Google's like, oh, you meant any shop that happens to serve ramen. And I'm like, no, I meant a ramen shop. Or if they didn't publish their menu online. Yeah, or if they didn't publish their menu online. Or if you, if it's like, hey, yeah, you know, plenty of shops serve uh, sushi or, or like udon or something, but not a lot of shops are good at it. 
And so you, if you want to find the shops that are good at it, Google works against you because it's like, oh, you, here, here's every shop that does. I'm willing to bet, like, they have their employees here and they're all just clapping because they, if they don't clap, they'll get fired. Clap or you get fired. It's part of your contract. Now, if they actually gave me the ability to control the AI model for things like that, rather than just yeah, trusting that Google knew what to do, that'd be great. Because if you can essentially do a grep search on real life objects, that'd be fantastic. But the problem is, of course, you're not going to have that level of granularity to control. It's going to be based mostly on what Google wants to show you. Scene exploration is a powerful breakthrough in our device's ability to understand the world the way we do. Is this really a search function, though? This seems more like a glorified AR function than it does a search function. When assuming that some company is going to come along with with seriously next-gen AR, after we have AR, it's going to be game-changing. And this kind of feature being constantly overlaid over top of what it is that you're seeing as you're out shopping would actually be really useful. This still doesn't feel like a search function, though. This feels like AR. I'm just going to check the AR box. You think so? I'm going to check the AR box. Yeah, yeah, this is this is AR. I mean, it's it's clearly designed for AR. Before it. Why are, the, why are people clapping? <laughs> There's a lot of fluff when they could get their point across a lot faster when they just would say, oh yeah, you just click this box and then you, you can get people of a certain race. It took six minutes or so to get there. <laughs> now back to the show, as if this wasn't part of the show. Ah, ah, top left corner. Reminds her of where it's being filmed. Thanks, Which is beginning Now, it's monitoring you all the time, as opposed to just some of the time. How? Unlock the door. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't do that. ...entirely on device, so it isn't shared with Google or anyone else. I'm gonna throw in a clip. Oh, that's, that's privacy. That's, we care about privacy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Does this count as IoT? I think that counts as yeah, IoT this as is well. IoT. Oh, this is Nest wow. Stuff. All they have to do is mention something about the Play Store and we got bingo. Show me some beaches in Santa Cruz. I found a few beaches near that Santa Cruz. That took an awful long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's being processed on an IoT device. It doesn't have that much processing power. <laughs> it took so long, someone started laughing. <laughs> Look, this is a literal like green screen. Oh, I'm just gonna make a green screen of this and you can do whatever the heck you want with it because you get a green screen of Sundar Pachai anywhere you want. Why are we talking about machine learning algorithms? I don't care. Or even imagine being on a planet made of ice cream. <laughs> that face! may give inaccurate or inappropriate information. Maybe you should ask someone. Have a brain. <laughs> Have a brain, basically. Like, so many of these are just like, do you not have a brain? They haven't, the fact that they said, oh, we're opening people to talk about Lambda, but they haven't even finished this one. It probably means they're going to talk about this for 10 minutes and they don't even have it ready. And speaking of sustainability, this hub is already operating at 90% carbon-free energy. Come on, we checked the box already. <laughs> Yay! These people are looking less and less happy as the event goes on. Ah, chipset box. Check the chipset box. There's suddenly a lot more background noise. I think they forgot to put on the, uh, the AI... We uh, background filtering. Safe online. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear birds. Yeah, can you hear all the ambient noise that we didn't hear with Sundar Pichai? Okay, a little bit of tri- I'm gonna talk over her. A little bit of trivia time. Uh, did you know that Google 
actually acquired the security company Mandiant. It's actually one of their more recent acquisitions into the security foray. Yeah, but they're so they're just tooting their own horn at this point. Yes. The yes. Career certificate program. They already do this. That's the point addition, of the bingo card, though, is to to, to mark when they're tooting their own horn. Do you see what I mean, though? Do you feel like a lot of these, like, individual wow. presentations could be, like, trimmed down by, like, four minutes? Of, like, when they could just give their thing in, like, two sentences? Or if they, done. like, learn to talk faster. They got the Play Store, but no choice. It was set to the, okay. No choice. Needs to be about, like, choice and why Apple's, such a, Apple's App Store is such a scummy process. As if the Play Store wasn't an equally scummy process, but whatever. Sorry, guys, back from the bathroom. Where you been, Jim? I, 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 I didn't care about all that AI stuff, so I'm back now. Whether you're on Android or iOS, just one tap on your phone and you're in. No six-digit codes. Uh, this is the FIDO thing that Google and Yes, Apple I'm aware of that, Microsoft. but like, they technically already do this. Like, if you send your phone a code, a code, now it's just even just press a button, which they did a few no, years ago. Yeah, they've had that for a really long time. Yeah. And we're optimizing the sign of Ugh, and that yawn for that woman in the front. So <laughs> yeah, that's definitely passwordless. And we're now they they literally are talking about about password like password solutions. Across every device, hey, there we go. That's device. about as explicit as you can get. Tails at checkout will replace your card number with a distinct virtual that's number. That's actually really useful. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Me meanwhile, privacy.com is like, hey, wait, we thought of that first. Yeah, see, it kind of begs the question, why the heck are we giving away our full credit card number to every single vendor we go to? That seems kind of stupid in retrospect. Not if you sponsored, think about by it. the way. Yeah, no, yeah, not, not sponsored. Not sponsored. We, we just think credit cards need to be fixed. We care so much about your privacy that we're gonna spend 20 minutes on it and not 10 minutes. Oh, you care about have your so privacy much. so much that we're gonna have two people talk about it rather than one person talk about it. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we, were, we, we never sell your personal information. We promise. We just sell your personal information if, from, if to Google, other people who sell your personal if information. If Google can say with a straight face that they never sell your personal data, then our rules about quote selling personal data is incredibly messed up. To give you even more control over the ads you see across YouTube, search, and- This is something you called last year that you wanted, right? Yeah, actually they had it for a while. Um, and they allowed you to say, hey, yeah, this is information I don't want to see ads about. And then they got rid of it because people were probably abusing it. Also, the things that you can't turn off are, uh, are age. They won't let you turn off age or select a different category.